Hello everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome to the Oculus Rift. Once again, we're in another world, and this one is actually really, really gorgeous. It already gives me kind of like a Fable vibe about it. Not so much just because of like the setting of it, but mainly just because of the art style. It's very, very familiar looking to me. It's really, really cool. So this is a game called Upward. So it's got a little bit of a story and a bit of an objective to start things off. But it's basically a platformer in every sense of the word. Uh, there are platforms to be jumped on. There are things to collect. And this is the backstory behind it. So the small town of Isos's Bridge has been shattered by a stray gravity current. Oh, God. Uh, without the bridge, the townsfolk uh, can't take their produce and livestock to the market in the sky layer above. Isos is in desperate need of someone who can gather all of the destroyed bridge parts and deliver their produce before it all goes to waste. So the objective is to get all the pieces and uh, restore the bridge, which is good. And that bridge over there is actually the bridge that we're going to try and uh, we're going to try and sort out. So we've got controls, we've got a tutorial, we've got credits. Uh, so I think I'm going to do all these things. So the controls are pretty simple. W A S D to move as you'd expect. The mouse to look around as well as my noggin. Uh, and then we've got space to jump. We we can do a mega jump, which if you get ready for this, is like massive. Oh no, wait, wait. massive. There you go. <laughs> it's so huge, this jump. I can pretty much reach the platform in the sky that we're aiming for from the starting area. That's how ridiculous this jump is. Uh, I can press alt and beneath me I get my cloud pieces and gravity crystals counter. And other than that, it's kind of like E to pick things up, F to drop them, uh, left shift to sprint as you'd expect. And I can also glide as well. So look at this. So this is a shift jump. Okay, now this is a shift jump with the glide on. Ready? Glide. And it just sort of holds and hangs. That one wasn't a very good demo, was it? Jeez. All right, there you go. So if I glide now, there you go. Now you can actually see some kind of difference. So let's get started then. So the normal way to start is to jump off of here into that little boat that is just down there. But before I do that, I want to check out the tutorial because I've given this a little go once or twice and never actually played the tutorial Oh, this is cool. I like the music for it. Okay, so these are just like untextured things. So I can double jump, which is quite nice. Uh, I wonder if I can reach that double jump and a glide. Yeah, just about got it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to double jump up to there. Uh, I'm going to double jump over this way, mainly to show you this. You can actually grab onto the corner of the wall. It's really, really cool. So many people have been asking me to do Mirror's Edge 2 or to do Mirror's Edge or even to do something like um, or like Assassin's Creed inside of the Oculus Rift. But I don't think I really need to now. I feel like I've actually found a game that sort of ticks all of those boxes. And I believe if I run across this wall here, I can actually not so much run across oh no no that's rubbish oh god i didn't do it right <laughs> i don't think you can run across walls but you can certainly uh you can certainly jump off of them like that to sort of go up a solid face which is quite handy i'm gonna do a mega jump over this way there we go and then that gets us to the end so i think that was just a way actually of introducing me to all the different kinds of gaps and jumps that we're going to experience oh god down we go and uh, crash landing there we go Good stuff. And one thing that I've noticed as well is that this is very similar to that game Cube that I played, but I'm not getting any motion sickness. I think that might have just been an off day for me because I've never had any kind of Oculus Rift sickness um, until I played that game. Uh, oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, there goes the bridge. Oh, dear. So that is what a rogue gravity whatever looks like. I think most of us would call it a tornado, wouldn't we? <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, right. So there are loads of cloud pieces we need to collect. There are also these little doohickeys down here, the gravity crystals. So I'm going to grab that one there. And this thing here looks like a gravity crystal. But for some reason, you can't interact with it. You can stand on it and it spins your... Oh, Jesus. What did I do wrong? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what did I do? Um, what? <laughs> I got, I got teleported halfway around the map. What even? What did I do? Where's the... So the bridge is there, so I've gone all the way from over there to here. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, okay, so I should probably preface this and say that uh, this is in beta. This is a trial version. I found it on the Oculus Rift subreddit uh, the other day, and it seemed to get a really positive response on there. Uh, there's another game that's very similar to this called, like... Oh, what's it called? I think it's called like Skylands or something like that, where you kind of have like these two spidey webs and you kind of like Spider-Man shoots them out. It's like that meets Nerve Gear uh, inside of the Oculus Rift. And I gave that a try and I wasn't really feeling it, but this one 
is so much more fun. It's because you actually feel like you're the one doing it. It makes you feel very bionic rather than having to use uh, an extra bit of kit. Oh god, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, there you go, land on it. All right, another mega jump. There you go. Oh god, I've kind of overshot it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, cool. If you hit something, you do tend to stop mid-air. Now, don't sprint in the middle of the sky. What are you doing? All right, oh, oh, it's a handy little cottage. Uh, I can't go into that one. Oh, rubbish, okay. Uh, what about... Oh, there's a platform back there. Oh, wait, that's the tutorial, isn't it? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so I can see the tutorial from here. I think I'm going to... No, I immediately regret that decision. <laughs> I'm going to mega jump instead. Uh, there you go. So to mega jump, I have to hold V and press spacebar, which isn't the easiest thing in the world to press. Just when, you're, when you've got the Oculus on, you obviously can't see your keyboard. And it's not particularly, like, friendly place to be moving your fingers to. But I guess you kind of get used to it. Uh, now, there is a cloud piece down there. So I'm going to grab you. Oh no, it's doing this again. Oh wait! Oh no, it disappeared. I was gonna say, sometimes when you grab these cloud pieces, they actually uh, they actually hold in mid-air and you can never drop them. Um, it can get a little bit buggy like that. So I can actually get a cloud piece out and make it disappear again. So there's another one. So my uh, goal at the minute, I've got 3 out of 14 and I've got 1 out of 9. Uh, where are we gonna go to next? There is a pirate ship down there, which I quite like the look of. So let me have a little wander down there. God, the music is so cool in this as well. I'm really digging it. Uh, is that... Oh, wait, hold on. I think that's a gravity crystal. Let me have a quick look. Hold on. Uh, I'm trying to creep over the edge. So many years of Minecraft has spoiled me. Normally, you can't look over edges like this, but in Minecraft, you can. And I'm going to go for it. There we go. And one more little jump. Good. Okay, all right. And crash land on top of it. Fantastic. Okay, good. Uh, where else are we going to go to next? I guess I can get off the pirate ship and head back up the stairs. Why not? I'm going to do this normally. I'm going to walk up and do this legit. I can't use my mega jump everywhere. I've got to at least explore the sights and sounds of the place. What's on this market store? Whoa, look at those. Oh, that's... I love how you got all these, like, golden, you know, very nicely trimmed axes. And then you just got this one little Minecraft shoddy one. Oh, my God. And there are swords. What is that? What the hell is that? I don't know what weapon that is. That looks like a very painful maraca. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Uh, what does this store sell? This one's got, oh, like, cups and stuff. And then we got... Is that supposed to be meat? Is that a giant... Oh, it is, yeah. That's a giant heart. Bloody hell. That heart's bigger than I am. Oh, there's a gravity crystal there. Oh, good reason we came up here, then. Good times. Uh, what have we got in here? We've got... Oh, dear. This is the hot sauce stand, isn't it? That's where, like, Hot Pepper Gaming would come into play here. Uh, let me see. Where was that? Oh, the crystal was just there. There it was. Um, single jump. There you go. Got it. All right. So that's, what, four out of nine? No, three out of nine. So I've got three for free. This is good, although there are way more clouds to be collected. Uh, not on that little platform there. I reckon I should probably try and get over to some other islands and see what we can find. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, we've got the sky bridge up there. I guess I can go up and try and build it. Oh, that looks really difficult, though, unless I take the lift. <laughs> I like that it gives you, like, the platforms that you need to jump on, and it's just like, actually, if you're too lazy, just get the lift. It's fine. We're not going to penalise you for that. Let's make our way up there. Let's see what we can do. Uh, is there anything else around here? Oh, the gravity crystal just there, and there's also a cloud piece. And I'm just noticing right now, which is going to be a big mistake, is that if I, uh, if I walk around... There we go, grab that one. Uh, yeah, when I walk around, it looks like it actually walks me in the direction that I'm looking. So if I look, say, completely behind me, I press W, yeah, it takes me that way, okay. So that's something I need to be wary of. And I could have sworn... Yeah, there's another crystal over there. Okay, cool. We'll get that one, we'll go over to get the other one, and we're making our way to finishing this relatively quickly actually. I saw the guy that did a YouTube video on this, uh, did like an eight minute video. I'm not sure if he collected everything though. Uh, oh God, okay. Jesus, that was close. All right, double jump over to there. Good, over the fountain, whoa. Look at that water. That actually looks really, really good. And you know I base all my game judgments on how good the water is. That's how I decide if the graphical quality of a game is top notch or not. Uh, can I make that with a double jump? I guess I can make it onto one of these poles. Oh Jesus, all right, one. Two, yeah, oh, actually, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Phew, all right, how are we doing? We've got five gravity crystals and five cloud pieces. Uh, let's have a look, look around. Is there any other bits to be found? Mm, I don't see any, not from here at least. Uh, let's have a look out the back. It looked like there was something on that rock a little while ago. 
I don't think there is. Uh, let's go. Let's go up to here. I want to actually try and do this obstacle course properly. So I know this is going to take me right the way to the sky bridge just there. But I would like to challenge myself a little bit and have a quick go on this thing right here. The obstacle course. Here we go. Okay. So if I start here, I'm going to double jump over to there. Oh, I see. Like the lift is like really close to where you're doing it. So you can sort of bail out at any point. Nope, that's not gone well. Uh, okay, cool. Up you climb. Good. All right. Uh, we're next. That one looks closer, but I'm pretty sure that one is. Uh, here we go. Up we go, double jump. No, oh god, god, just about. Yes, nailed it. Oh, don't fall off the edge. Okay, uh, now, now, which one? Force it, double jump. Yeah, look at that, nailed it. Good, go on. Oh god, I keep nearly jumping off the edge. <laughs> and up we go again. Good, I've not actually used my glide for any of these jumps yet. I should probably be doing that. Uh, jump, jump, glide, jump. Yeah, look at this. Oh god. I'm so close each time. Uh, that one. Jump, jump, glide. And another jump to climb me up to the top. Good. Look at this. All right. Uh, let's see. Jump, jump. And another one. Yeah. And the final one. Oh, it looks like it's just out of reach. So I'm just moving around with the mouse. Uh, I can try and get to that. I don't know if I can. One, two. Oh, no. There's one just there. Sorry. Ignore me. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Double jump. Grab onto the edge. Oh, I didn't even have to. I like stepped up it and double jump. Cool, grab the edge and I've nailed it. And then that's where I jump onto that one. Oh, no! Oh god, oh god. Uh, I'm gonna fall. The platform's gonna hurt. This was a total waste of time. <laughs> oh god. I wonder if I mega jumped if I could get over to there. I reckon I could re enter the tutorial if I did a mega jump. I reckon I could. That, that looks like a doable distance. Ah, but it wasn't a waste of time because it was worth it to get a gravity crystal. Good stuff. I'm gonna see if I can go up over here. This is like my dream, actually, is that whenever I play games, I always like to go... Oh, excuse me, hiccups. I always like to go over the mountains rather than across the official paths. And this game is just made for it. <laughs> oh, God, the hiccups. No, this is like, let's play as Curse. Oh, there's another one. There you go. Jeez, well, I got all of them. Oh, no, I'm missing two. I'm only missing two gravity crystals now. Oh, wait, am I tall enough to get through there? Oh, I am, good. I thought I'd have to crouch there. I can crouch, right? It's like, see. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Right, so this... This is the sky bridge, so if I hold out a bit of cloud, you can't see it against the bridge, against the bridge for some reason. Oh god, hold on. <laughs> okay, I've had a drink. I think I think I'm gonna be okay now. I think the hiccups are gone. Uh, I'm gonna press F. I'm gonna drop that. No, it doesn't work. Oh, oh no, the hiccups are back. <laughs> They're not gonna. We'll have to deal with it. It's fine. Let me drop that again. No, 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 not over the edge. Oh, oh, oh god. I thought that would scare me enough to get rid of my hiccups. Maybe I should just jump off one of these cliff faces and absolutely scare myself. Oh, self. Oh, God. <laughs> so, it seems like when I drop the clouds over the edge, that they just sort of fall into place. How weird is that? I thought they'd be like a little depository or something. Oh, that was a big gap, gap right there. That wasn't enough to scare me. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Christ. Okay. Here and drop. There you go. Oh, look at this. We've almost done like one half of the game, game already. <laughs> I'm so sorry. There you go. Yeah, I'm up. Okay. All right, cool. So objective. Now that the bridge has been fixed, Isos is a step closer towards reaching the market above. Yes. Uh, so in order to finally get there, you must recover all of the sky elevators, missing power orbs. Many of the surrounding islands have a power orb located on, on them. Oh, God. Uh, here's what you know about platforming and path building. Uh, to recover a powerful... Uh, oh, wait. To recover a power orb from each of the surrounding islands. Right, okay. So, so the power orbs. What do they look like? I'm assuming it's going to show me up here, right? I mean, other than that, it's just going to be an orb, isn't it? It probably glows or something. Let me go up here. Oh, wait. That already goes up. What the, what the hell? Oh, I see. Hold on, wait, wait. So we got... Oh, I see. So we got two out of three of them. Okay, so they're going to look like that. That's what a power orb looks like. So, where is this last one going to be? Where's it going to be? I don't really know where to go. I mean, I've not been over there yet. But, 
I don't know if that's the way to go. I'm so sorry about this. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, okay, okay. I think I, I think the hiccups are gone. <laughs> I had to do some weird like breathing tricks in order to get rid of them. I did try to have somebody scare me. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. Right. So I think I do need to go over there because I just pointed that out a second ago and there's actually a platform on its way already. Balls. I'm not going to make it in time, I don't think. Unless I'm really quick about this. Glide, 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 glide. Over you go. No, I just about made it. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fast this thing moves. I literally only had a millisecond there. So I reckon there's probably a power orb up the top of this. So let's see what we can do. So it's a platform building. So I think as well as clouds, I think I could probably grab other things. Don't know what I can actually grab. I didn't try grabbing anything off that marketplace to try and pinch it, but maybe I can. So I've got... Oh, no, I don't want a cloud. What about you? Can I grab you? No, I don't want a cloud. No, I... Oh, wait. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. So if I do that... What? I just like... What? So if I do that... Oh my god, I'm connecting both of them. Uh, okay. Oh my god, what have I done? Up and F. Okay. Up and F. How about F? No? Up and F. No. Oh god. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh... I mean, I guess I could use a big jump to get up, but I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of this. So there's a cloud. Oh, wait, so that... Oh, wait, this platform to the side of me is broken. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I think I wasn't supposed to pick up both at the same time. The game is bugging out because of it. All right, I'm going to have to mega jump up this one. Uh, there you go. Good. Okay, so starting from here... This platform is going to be in my vision for the whole of the game now, but that's fine. Uh, let's go up this way. Oh, God, I can just about climb that orb. Go on, go on. Up, you get it? No, I'm falling. Uh, and I fell back to the bottom again. All right, mega jump. Then we get myself back up here. Uh, okay, above and beyond. Why not? <laughs> I think the game is bugged at this point, so that's fine. Uh, where am I going? Oh, the power orb. There it is. Oh, fantastic. So that took, like, what, two power jumps? Two mega jumps, and I was able to grab that. So can I grab it even though I'm carrying something else? Don't fall off the edge. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Did the ball come with me? Oh, no. Oh, that's that's trouble. Uh, oh, no. So the ball has probably fallen off the edge of that building over there. Oh, for God's sake. Hold on a second. <laughs> so I've got a platform I don't want to carry. I've got a ball that's disappeared into the abyss, most likely. Oh, no, I see it. I see it falling. Am I going to get over there quick enough, though? Can you see it? It's, like, right on the edge. I'm pretty sure I just saw that fall. Yeah, look, there it is. No, don't fall. <laughs> no, I can't even jump off this platform. What? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me jump off. No, look, the ball's gone. Oh, we're never going to be able to get to the market now. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm so going to fall to my death. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, uh, no. Oh, dear. Slowly but surely, falling to my death. Wait, what? Oh, okay, this game's messing with me now. I'm going to go back I'm gonna go back up and check. I'm going to see if the uh, if the orb is up there. I, I hope it is, but I don't think it will be. <laughs> God, either I'm playing this completely wrong, or this is just, like, you know, little bugs due to beta. Either way, it's totally fine. Uh, let me see if I can just try to shimmy around the edge here. Uh, let me land on this platform just here. And I can mega jump up to the very, very top. Okay, up we go. Oh, there we are. Big jump. And... No, didn't quite make that one. There you go, that'll do. And then if I jump up this one properly... Nope, the orb is gone. And that's where the marketplace is. Oh, dear. So when I walk through this, that teleports me back. Yeah, it does. All right. Okay, never mind. So, I wonder if this is doable without... Well, I don't think it would be, would it? Because that's the objective. Um, but I did see the platform moving, though. That's the weird part about all of this. Let me go up and see if I can actually get to the end. Uh, the platform's right there. Uh, oh, God, I'm going to have to mega jump to catch up with it. Uh, unless I can get up there without it. No, I can't, I can't reach that. <laughs> Not even a mega jump can take me that high. All right, okay, we're up. This looks good. So this seems to be taking me to what I assume is the marketplace. What would be the end? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look, there we go. Thanks for playing. 
Yay! I somehow managed it! <laughs> so I'll tell you what. Oh god, that statue is really creepy as well. I, I, I bugged this wonderfully. I royally, royally bugged this out. But there we go. Hopefully the dev gets something out of watching this that he can maybe fix in the future for the, uh, for the platform building. But other than that, this has genuinely been one of my favourite experiences on the Oculus Rift. I can't wait for my SDK 2 to come. That's going to be exciting stuff. I have had an email from Oculus and I think I might be in the first wave of people to get them. So I might be seeing my brand new one in a couple of weeks. I'll do an unboxing as you'd expect. And, uh, and yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in a little bit.